Welcome for another Phantom review. This time it's 2022, issue number one. So we are a bit in the future since my clock says it's still not Christmas. This issue has a cover by Luke Arbada with all of these frogs and snakes attacking the phantom. Looks pretty cool. And as the first issue of the year, let's see what it holds. First off, we have some editorial uh, information and we also get uh, information about what's going to happen in this new year 2022 from Jacob and Andrea. So we will, they will try to have something new in every issue that hasn't been published in Phantomen earlier. So either a new Team Phantom story, a newspaper story or something from Fru. So that's great. And uh, they also say that uh, the Phantom will come to Sweden again, but not Stockholm, but somewhere where people from Stockholm go to when it's vacation time. And there will be the two last uh, stories by Klaus Remarty and uh, some new and old creators coming back. So that sounds good. There will be some uh, reruns and for like for this issue and this next issue we will have some Hans Lindahl and that's great. I love Hans Lindahl. They will continue doing some things in black and white and some in color. I, everyone knows I love color more but I guess I have to live with that. New side stories uh, or side comics. So the things that isn't fun the Phantom in Phantomen it will be three, three new and some old ones that we have seen before and then there will be a new christmas album and a new soft cover album but those are usually in the q3 q4 and there will be some new and i think andreas have been uh, talking about this in the interview we did with the chronicle chamber so i think he talks a, a bit about this then so check that out if you haven't done that then the main story is actually a rerun it is the Hans Lindahl but it's written by Don Avenel the magic flute it's from 95 I think it was in uh, Fru 1138 if I'm not misremembering and it's about how this the flute from um, with with the story with the rats and then the kids came into the phantom's possession i like this because you usually the stories where uh, tim phantom writes about uh, these uh, artifacts in the treasure chamber comes it's usually just a story and then in the end he gets the, the actual thing but here it plays a big role in the story and it's used quite a lot so i i think that's i mean i, I usually don't like things you can't explain but yeah I think it's really done very well in this story I, I enjoyed it very much then we have the new thing in this issue and that is from Fru it's the Duncan Monroe story with art by Jeff Weigel it's uh, hold, held to account so it's the flame part two and uh, Australian readers know a lot about this and it's great to see and it's it's like Empire Strikes Back. It's a it's a really interesting uh, continuation from a great first story, and it promises a conclusion, but it's still very good on its own. Then we have this uh, with all the all the Phantomen when they come out during the year, and the really really nice part they have done this year. It's two-sided so we get one one side with no dates at all and just uh, image that is so so great I love I love that innovation what's more nothing more except information about the next issue so it will be the third part of the Duncan Rose trilogy uh, Rotten Apples there will be a rerun the Rasputin's Rebus and a rerun by Hans Lindahl, the 
poison maker with the Guron here. So that's something to look forward to and we will also be able to vote for the best adventure of 2021. That is all for me. Merry Phantoming and uh, Merry New Year.